Hi everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs and today I wanted to share with you how you can add a pattern fill to either a shape or text that you have typed out very easily in the Leonardo Design Studio software. Now the tool I will be using is a pro version tool when I record this video. So I'm going to show you how I created this in a shape form and then also in a text form. Now, when you're do using a pattern fill, that can be anything from a digital paper, like you see on my screen, to a photo that you have taken, to uh, they are usually in JPEG or PNG format. Those are photo files. They are usually large graphic files and it will be up to your specific computer on how it handles the large graphics and how well it works. So let's take a look at how I created this. When you're using the patterns, you're typically print and cutting. So that is why you're going to see this on the screen. I'm going to open a new file and then I'm simply going to draw out a square. So I'm going to draw the square as my example. I'm going to come up to file, open, and I'm going to choose a pattern paper. I will put a link in the description of this video where you can pick up this pattern paper. It is under the freebies section in the Design Bundles website. And I'm just going to click on that. Now, I do not wanna choose print and cut because I do not want it to trace all of my objects that I have on my screen. So I'm going to cho choose background image. And then I'm going to choose next. When I do that, it's going to place it on my screen at the size it was created if I chose the 300 DPI. That is currently a 12 by 12. I can simply grab the corner bounding box and I can shrink that as desired. When you open a JPEG or a PNG file, it is a set size. You can scale it down without usually losing image quality, but if you try to scale it up, it's going to pixelate in most cases, which means it's going to be a lower resolution. So always open it at the 300 DPI so it opens at the correct resolution and then scaling down is not a problem. So I'm just gonna scale that down. Now you can hardly see my square that I drew because it's white. The first thing I need to do is I need to right click on this and I need to choose order and send to back because I want my square or whatever object that I am going to cut out of this pattern, I want it on top. With that on top, with my rectangle on top, I'm going to select both my shape and my pattern, and I'm going to come down here to the toolbar, and I'm going to choose intersect. Now I'll show you two different ways here. So if I choose this intersect here, it's going to cut the square out of that pattern. If I undo with control Z, and I, if I use the next intersect, the slice intersect, it's going to cut it out, but it's going to leave two pieces. I just wanted to show you the difference in that. For what we're doing, I simply need the intersect tool alone. And this is a Caesar Leonardo Design Studio Pro tool. So I'm going to use that intersect. Now you'll see once I moved that onto my screen fully onto my page, those registration marks showed up. <clears throat> but if I come over here to my send design, click off of it, send design, and I choose send, it's going to show a blank screen. I have told it to fill that shape with that pattern, but now I also need to tell it it needs a cut line around it. So I'm going to come down here to the build contours and I'm going to tell this that it is a print and cut logo. If I have holes in my design, I wanna choose include holes, which you'll see here in just a second. And I'm going to simply click on apply here. The blue line that's around my shape is going to be my cut line. So I'm going to choose apply. And then if I click off to deselect and choose send design, when I go to send it, it's going to show my printed artwork and my contour, my cutting contour for that shape. So if I go back here to my design, I'm gonna use a text example. Here's my text. I'm going to type BOO in all capitals. And then mine is already set because I was testing this, but I chose impact as my font because it's a big, bold font. If I wanted to choose a font, so I wanted to go I'm now back at the A's. If I wanted to select a font, I'm going to click over here and start typing the name of that font. 
you want to continue typing so i typed imp and it went to impact if you pause or take a break it's going to go i m and then if you take too long and type in p it'll kick you over to the p's so you do have a search option in your text style panel if you know what text you're going for so i'm going to click apply and then I'm going to simply grab the corner bounding box here and just resize this. So I have my text and I wanna fill that with a pattern. So I'm going to use file open and I'm going to open my pattern. So I'll choose this pattern here. I'm going to bring it in as a background image at 300 DPI, choose next. And then I'm going to scale that however I choose to. You could use it at the full size if you wanted it to. I also need to right click, choose order and send to back. And then I'm going to select both my pattern and my text, and I'm going to use the intersect option. And you can see that it fills with color. Now I have told it that this is filled with my pattern. I now need to come down to the build contours and I need to tell it to do a print and cut and build the contour around the print. I want the centers of my letters to be cut out, so I need to choose include holes. Now here, if you did want it to have an offset, I can come in here and I can select the offset and you can see that it's going to add an offset that is going to be my cut line. So I would have white or whatever color that my material is on the outside of that um, text. I don't need an offset, but I wanted to show that to you. I'm going to click apply. And then when I click off of this and choose send design, now it is going to show that I have two patterns that are going to be printed through my printer. And then it's going to cut both my shape and my text. So you can easily fill any shape and any text with a pattern fill with digital papers, a photo, or a, a JPEG or a PNG file. Have fun, play around with it. Don't forget to build those contours so it shows up on your send tab for a print and cut file. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications for future content. Thanks and have a great day.